What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are going to be talking about Power Automate and we're going to be talking about triggers for Dynamics 365 customer engagement. Now, over the next few videos, um, on my next series of videos, I'm going to be talking about triggers and actions and when you should be using a specific one over another one and kind of talk you through all those details. I thought it was best to start with Dynamics 365 customer engagement or model driven apps, um, you know, whatever we're trying, or first party apps, whatever we're calling it these days, to try and help you understand which triggers you should be using. Now, for people that don't work with uh, Dynamics, um, this may seem obvious, like you know, you use the trigger that is the one for the software. Well, there are actually three current triggers for Dynamics, and they're not all that um, easy to understand. So I thought I would talk you through each one and show you um, and kind of talk about the differences between all of them. So I'm in Power Automate here. I have a flow set up and um, one thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to expand this list here and this is a list of triggers. Now if you typed into this search box uh, Dynamics, uh, if I could spell Dynamics, um, you would get this list of triggers. So we actually have quite a number of triggers here, some about Dynamics 365 um, customer engagement specifically. So we have Common Data Service, Dynamics 365, Dynamics 365 Customer Insights, Dynamics 365 Fin and, op, fin and, fin and Ops, uh, Business Central, uh, that's not a Dynamics one, Business Central On-Premise, uh, Sales Insights, and Dynamics Nav. So we have three nav connectors there, three nav triggers there. We have a trigger for uh, finance and operations. We have triggers for insights, for both customer service and or customer insights and sales. And then we have two Dynamics 365 customer engagement triggers. Now, common data service uh, is the underlying technology that Dynamics works on. So a brief introduction to the common data service is that um, the the common data service was born out of the need to expand Dynamics. So Dynamics was always a great platform that people would use to expand what it was doing to do other things. Because you would get a bunch of inbuilt things like security, uh, a self-referencing API, loads of great features uh, and, and an interface that you could easily customize. So the common data service is now available separately from Dynamics and from those first party apps like Dynamics 365 Sales, Dynamics 365 Field Service, Customer Service, etc. Um, because it can allow you to do all those things. But at its core, any, any first party Dynamics 365 app, which includes Dynamics 365 Sales, Customer Service, Field Service, Marketing, they all have this underlying technology which is common data which is the common data service and the common data service is now available separately from dynamics as well if you don't do any of those functions so instantly if you typed into dynamics 365 you think oh you know this is the symbol that's what my software looks like i should use this one and if you click on it you actually get five um, different triggers so you get when a record is created when it's deleted when it's updated when it's created in preview, some extra features, and when a record is created or updated at preview. Now, about, I think it was last April, Microsoft made a blog post about um, triggers and connectors, and they specified that seeing as everyone was now on the new version of CDS, or the Common Data Service, that you should not use this, um, this trigger at all. Now, they haven't, I don't think I've seen an official deprecation of this trigger, but all the documentation says do not use this trigger, use CDS triggers because um, there is exactly the same technology and what I'm hearing from Microsoft is that this one will not be supported going forward. So the first thing you need to do if you have a Dynamics 365 system is not use the Dynamics 365 triggers or actions. So if I go back, there is a common data service trigger here so if I click on this one, we have four options. We have when a record is created, when it is updated, when it's deleted, or when a record is selected. So we have four different triggers that we can use. Now, 
what you don't see here, and if I type into this search bar here and I, I search common data service, is you'll only ever see the one trigger for common data service where I am right now. So I am in Power Automate, um, I've just clicked on new flow and I've come here. There are, however, two different triggers and two different actions because there are two different connectors for the common data service. So if I go to my solutions on the left, yes, when I leave this page, um, and then if I open up a solution, so if I use this Power Platform virtual happy hour here, I can click on new, I can click on flow, and then once I'm in this one, if I type common data service into the search box and even misspell it, common data service, I actually now have two connectors and two actions. So this one on the left is the one we just looked at, which if I click on it, have those same four uh, triggers. But the other one, if I type it again, common data service, this one, if I hover over, it says current environment. If I click on that, there is a single trigger for this. So instantly there are things that are in one that aren't in the other. Um, and both of these connectors and both of these triggers work differently. So what I'm going to do over the next few videos is I'm going to show you how to use the triggers in one common data service um, connector and show you how to use them in the other one. There are significant differences between the two. There are features that are available in one and not in the other. Um, and there are things that you need to be aware of when you're architecting your solution. But just to try and recap, do not use the Dynamics 365 um, uh, trigger or actions in Dynamics. Use common data service. And if you don't use the common data service, be aware that there are two different common data service um, triggers and you can find, and, and they also have corresponding actions as well. And the way to get to both of them is either outside of a solution for just the normal one or inside a solution for a current environment one which is a little bit different. But there we have it. So I hope that kind of explains it a little bit. As I said, over the next few videos, I'm going to be talking in depth about each trigger and then each action so you can understand when to use each and anything that you need to be aware of in each. Um, and we're going to dig down deep into some of the functionality to try and show you some of the uh, some of the things to be aware of. But I hope you liked this video. If you did like it, please like and please share it with your friends. It's always appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.